want you to feel comfortable at where you're sitting. So put your feet on the floor and put your uh, arm shook a little bit gently and put it on your lap. And then just follow my voice to do some deep breathing. Today's scripture, I'm going to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of our comfort, who comforts us in all our trouble so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Psalm chapter 94 verse 19 When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 5 For just as we share abundantly in suffering of Christ, so also our comfort abounds for Christ. And I want you to take another deep breath. And again. And again. I'm going to recite the verse the second time. And during I read it the second time, I want you to think what stood out to you as I read the passage. Also, as I read the passage, please put both of your hands upon your chest or your heart and pump me at your heart as I read the word of God. And here you go, I read the verse for the second time. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comfort us in all our trouble, so that we can control, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. And Psalm chapter 94 verse 19 When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. And 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 5 For just as we share abundantly in the suffering of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. And I want you to take another deep breath. Another one. Another one. And the Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a compassionate God. You are the Comforter. That in all our trouble, we can come to you for restoration, for correction, and for comfort. We don't have to hide from you. We can just embrace you as you welcome us into your your arms and that yes through the blood of Jesus Christ the precious blood of Christ that we have this personal relationship with you and let us not forget that precious blood the price that was bought for for our relationship that we ought to come to you whenever we have doubt, whenever we have fear, whenever we want to repent. Enjoy the benefit as sonship, as daughter and son of God, the privilege, the pride, the proud of being purchased by Christ because we we don't pride ourselves, we don't boast about anything but the gospel. 
and I hope that um, I hope that when we end choose we remember your consolation brought us joy that you always know exactly how to comfort us no matter where we are because you understand our weakness you are the God Almighty you know everything about us and I just wonder you know how we can actually um, thanks you enough for what you've done for us and just as we share abundantly in suffering of Christ so also our comfort abounds through Christ that that we actually can gain all the inheritance through Christ how amazing is that and so I just want to um, praise the Lord for who you are that you always is our refuge that you always is our refuge I pray this in, uh, in uh, the holy name of Jesus Christ Amen so I want you to take a couple of deep breaths And again, and again, and I want to read you the third time of the scripture. And when reading the scripture, I want you to um, pick out one word or phrase that will help you to recite this verses or remember this experience you have during the meditation today and um, I'm gonna read from verse um, Corinthians 2nd second, second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4 praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comfort us in all our trouble, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. For just as we share abundantly in the suffering of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. Now I want to take a couple of deep breath. And again. And again. And praise to the Lord for the word of God. Your word is sufficient for today, yesterday, and forevermore. And I want you to slowly shake your hands and shake your legs, shake your arms a little bit, and shake your shoulder, and open up your eyes and feel the relaxation of the scripture and meditation.